worship in the Creator. Why? Anyone want to answer? It's not a trick question. It could be if you give me the wrong answer. Why do you worship the Creator? Why? Okay, that's one answer, acceptable. He asked us to. Does he have that right over us? Sure thing. Sure thing. Look, we just don't understand. Look, let's just deal with human examples. Things which we can relate to. Right now, your boss at work. Now, usually your boss sucks. For most people. Your boss is not the nicest guy in the world. This is this guy is on your case all the time. Too many things to do, not enough time to do. But let's just say, hypothetically speaking, there was a nice manager. They exist, by the way. They're scarcely there, but they're there. And he is this, yeah, sheikh. Yani from the day he met you, he took care of you, and he raised your salary, and he gave you less work to do, and more vacation time, and got you the best kind of deal. Yeah, and he, he's, he defends you all the time. Everything you ever imagined, of course it sounds like a dream, was there in him. He's done you some small favors. If he told you once, my car broke down, can you pick me up? Would you do it or not? Would you be happy to do it or not? Someone else? No. Maybe someone else like, ah man, come on brother, I just made it home, I want to have lunch. You will still do it, fi sabirillah. But internally, it's like this guy, man, is always asking for favors. But when he asks for it, it's like, yes, my chance for a small payback. How you go there smiling, how are you, how can I help you? Ah, you know, you're excited about picking someone up, even though initially, you would never react this way. I mean, you don't want to go out of your house and pick someone up from the freeway when you could be resting or having your lunch. Sahih? Would you do it willingly, with love, with, with everything? For sure. He did you what? Some favors. Maybe one day he'll change his mind and throw you out. Fire you. Let's assume that he did not call you. Your buddy was driving by, and he saw your manager on the road, on the side, with his car broke down, and he calls you and says, hey, I just saw your manager, man, I think his car broke down. Would you go on your own without him telling you? Yes or no? 100%. Why? He deserves it. And that was the answer I was waiting for. Why? He deserves it. Because he deserves it. That's why you say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of everything. You don't say thank you Allah, even though thanking is okay, but thanking is usually associated with a favor. I give you something, thank you. But you may praise someone, even though they didn't do anything for you. Their qualities make you say good things about them, even though you've never come in contact with them personally to benefit. There's no really thanking, he didn't do anything for you, but he's generous, so you thank, you praise him, mashallah. Generous. He is this and that. You say things of praise because he deserves praise without having done anything for you. And Allah deserves praise without having done anything for us, but he, he has done everything for us. So be, besides thankfulness, praise. So if you human being feel the need to pay back someone who gave you something insignificant, why are you tripping as they say? Why are you so upset? that we want to worship and show gratitude to our Creator. This is